So in today's video, we're showing you the quickest way to get the weekly objectives done. As you can see here, we have completed the season pass. We're going to go ahead and claim our rewards. And I'm going to show you just the quickest way that I figured out to do it. I've done a couple videos on these already. If you haven't seen them, they are similar. So we are going to go ahead and look at our season pass. And we are going to talk about clubs very, very quickly. Now, the buy weekly is there every two weeks. So we're not going to talk about that one. We did that last week. It's really easy to do. Just do what it says. The only thing you might struggle with is the Glee games because you need two people minimum to do that. So if you guys want to comment down below and help each other out, probably the best way to do it. You can control as any. So just alternate. Let's swap between you guys. One person controls any. Then the next one, the next person does. And you can tick off all the goals and assists while you do it. Now, the weekly one is the same thing with the clubs. Again, not going to talk about that. But with Rush, pretty straightforward. Go and play four, eight games of Rush. Get your goals that you need to do, your tackles. And then if you have got the clubs, you've got somebody to do it with, what I do is I select Striker, for example. And then the person I'm doing with it selects any. They control the other 10 players. Any goal or assist that they get in the league games or any tackles they get with any of the players that they're controlling counts towards this. Then once he's done, we then swap it over. He picks a striker. Then I control any and get all of those done. That's going to be like your best inconsistent way of doing the clubs one. But you do need someone there to help you get that done. That's the only thing. Then we are going to head over to the next one, which is going to be player career. The one I like to do the most. You can see I've already done some already. We're going to go through a lot of these very, very quickly. Now... Reach top manager favor. I get this question all the time. So I'm going to cover that first. At the same time of covering this, we are going to go ahead and cover the quick play style, the activities and the objectives. So heading over to player career, we're going to head down. Now you can do this on a brand new career. Carry on one that you've made. It's completely up to you. Let me introduce you to lootbar.gg. They help out massively and you can get coins as well. So there are 8 to 10% cheaper than any other platform available. If you use code Nanny, you get an additional 8% off on your first purchase plus five percent extra coins on top every time you do this also a lot of content creators just like these use loot bar too so if you are looking for coins use code nanny and head over to the link in the description or in the comment section and get those coins now so if i were to go and select my player careers wanted to explain two things for you very very quickly while we're here so i have a thierry on rewind with side with arsenal and i basically just scoring hat tricks on beginner Three minutes. That's all you need to do is beginner. Three minutes, get that done. I made a brand new account, and this is going to also tick off one of the seasonal things. This guy here is just a random one. It was generated. Now, with my pro, the first thing you're going to do is with your play styles. Is head over to my pro, then personalities. You can see the guy here. Then just change this, and then change it back to whatever you had before. That's the change of the play style done. The second one is then going to be activities. Now, you need to do five. Now, as you can see right now, I can't do these because I have no money. So what I recommend that you do is, is you just back off, make a brand new player, for example, an icon or an established player like a Haaland or something, and then just pick them and then complete all the uh, activities that way because they've got unlimited amount of money to get that done. Going back into the play that we just used, to get a hat trick, again, three minutes on beginner, score three goals, end it out. And then the next one after that is going to be your activity. So I'm going to explain to you what activities are and how it basically works. So you want to go into your match day game. We've got a game on now. We are starting. It doesn't matter if you start or not. You can just go ahead and play. So we're not even starting there. I've lied to you. We're simming it for some reason. We are going to basically go ahead and get into the next game. And once that game starts, I can actually talk about what's going on here. So I don't know what's just happened there. We'll just sort that out. So we have managed to get ourselves. We had an international game. That's why. Now we are going to go ahead and play as our pro. We've got seven minutes left in this game. Now, when you get into the game, there is going to be three objectives that pop up. And here we go. Now, you're going to see them. They're the three objectives you have to do that are in-game. Score a match rating of 6.5. Complete one pass. Shot on target. So, I'm going to enhance it and get two shots on target. And then we are going to go ahead and skip. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because we can just smash this out really quickly. So, we can get a hat trick in this same game at the same time. So, all we're going to do is just spam A or X to get the ball. Win the ball. We're on beginner. Don't forget, so this is going to be really easy for us to score. Going to dribble through, take a shot. There's the first goal. Now, you're just going to rinse and repeat that for another two more times. So, again, they're going to pass the ball around. We're looking to make a tackle. Tackle made. Press through ball for him to play the ball to us. We're through on goal. Take a shot. There you go. The second goal. And then we're going to do that one more time. Now, once you've done that and got your hat trick, this is only for you guys doing the hat trick. What you need to do is just rubber band. So, put the controller down and basically don't play anymore. But if you have the uh, hat trick... There's a really quick way of getting this done, and I'll go ahead and show you. So all I'm going to do now is just rubber band, which means go win the ball, 
and then I'm basically just going to stop right there. And if you want to check what objectives you've got left to do, just press start. Comes up underneath my camera. So see, I've got one more to do is complete a pass in the opponent's half. So again, I'm going to win the ball here. And then we're just going to pass. And there we go. That's done. Ask for the ball back. And now we can just go ahead, run to this area here, and then just put the controller down because they won't tackle us. And we're going to get to the end of the game by doing that. So there we go. The game has complete. So we got the hat trick done. We've also completed some objectives. We showed you the activities as well, what you need to do and how to complete that. Now, the next question I always get is one, how to get the manager's favor up to 100. Very simple. By completing these objectives, you can see here with the manager's rating on that left hand side, I am currently a sub. So I need to get that all the way up to start an 11. This is at international level. Now, if you look above my camera when I drag it down, you can see here that green bar there is completely full. That means the manager's favor is absolutely full and I've managed to become a manager's favor. Now, to do that, you need to do two things. Complete all of the objectives that we had just showed you. Make sure you are completing training at the same time. If you get training done, you get favor and I'll show you what that looks like. Now, on top of this, I get asked this question all the time. What is the like the agent objective? So where is no agent objective? All you have to do is go over to the pro, go to my agent, you see their objective is complete. What this is, is either your contract, which is make the matches and start an 11, or the path of which club you're going for. So for example, I want to transfer to this club. I've got to make those many appearances. I've got to score that many goals. They're the objectives. So if you don't know where that is, again, just on my pro, next to where we changed our play styles and our activities, there is my agent with the objectives we have there. So you see, we completed both. That's all those are in terms of objectives. Now, I wanted to show you one more thing that you can get done really, really quickly as well as we head into the next game is if you want to get the objectives done, like the 10 objectives, instead of playing the whole game, if you are a starter, you can go ahead and start. But for example, let's do training. Now, all you need to do to get max points in training is go ahead and complete any one of these, whichever one you want. Once you've got the A grade, you can then just select the same ones over and over again and then simulate them. You will get the highest grade every single time. So you don't need to play them after you've played them once. So just play them once. Once you've played them, you can then go ahead and simulate. Now, if you look, once I simulate, underneath where it says, for example, knocks on the dribble, the far left one, the first objective, you've got Maverick, then you've got heavy manager rating plus seven. Those manager ratings are the basically the, the getting the favor of your manager. That's what you need to do. But we are getting into our game now. So we're going to go ahead and play as Goddard. What we're going to do here is score three goals really, really quickly. Once we've done that, we can then basically get our objectives done. So all you need to do is your three objectives, get the three goals if you want to get high manager favor, and then you can sim to the end. So you can see here, here's our three objectives. Get a match rating, dribble, avoid losing the match. So we're going to go ahead and get the match rating. And then all we're going to do now is do exactly what I said. We're going to go into the game. We're going to demand the ball. Because it's on beginner and three-minute halves, we should fly through it. But it doesn't matter how long the game is anyway. We're just going to go ahead, run all the way through, get ourselves all the goals that we need to do and complete all the objectives we need to do. For example, a pass in the half. Once we have done that, we can then go ahead and sim the game, get the objectives done at the same time, and then we can move on to the next set of objectives. So again, just doing the same method, calling for through balls, making sure I get through one-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper, score a goal, rinse and repeat. Now, I'm just going to check my objectives again. Now, as you can see there, we've actually done them all, but I'm going to score one more goal just to keep that manager rating up high and give myself a chance to win a transfer later or any other objectives that I might be doing in the long run. Doesn't really matter about scoring the hat trick if you're just looking to do these quick, but I'm just doing it for my own career. So there we go. Three goals are done. Now we're going to do ahead and just go down to request the sub. Request the sub. And we just got to wait for the ball to come off to make us have a substitute. So all you can do here is just go ahead and tackle the player. Pass the ball to me. Demand the ball. And then we're just going to kick it out to get our substitution done. Now you can see here, sub has been done. We can go ahead and sim to the rest of the game. Simulate the rest of the match. Yes, sim. And then there we go. All the objectives are done. We won the game. We got everything else done we needed to do. And that's how you're going to complete the match objectives quick. See there, all objectives ticked off. We're at 11 out of 11 in terms of our managerial favor. So we get that one done as well. But let's head back over to the objectives and talk about what other objectives are left for us to complete. So as you can see here, we've got ourselves one more activity to do, which I showed you how to do. Complete the 10 match objectives, which I also showed you how to do, and then play the five matches to just basically do what we do. Just don't simulate those five matches. 
And then we've got the milestone ones in terms of seasonal, but I won't talk about them. I did that in another video. Now we're going to head over to the manager career ones. These are really quick to do. Make a tactical change, set up a training plan, hire a coach. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Now you can be any manager of any team with any save. It doesn't matter. For the sake of this one, we're just going to continue on with the Arsenal one, which we've used for all of these objectives so far. So when you get into the career mode, what you are going to do is head over to squad. You are then going to go over to your tactical present here, or preset, sorry. You're then going to go ahead and press A or X to enter. And then you're just going to go and change any of these presets. For example, we're going to change this to kick and rush. We are then going to go and press X or square to choose a player impact just to check what it does. Okay, that's fine. And then we are going to go and press RB or R1 on our controller. And you can see here everything else had is on if you want to add in some coaches to get that done. Now, if you're looking to hire a coach, it's the same thing on this screen. Press uh, the right stick. You've got your coaches here. And we just need to go ahead and get ourselves five coaches done. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. Five coaches, see who's available. Now, these refresh every once in a while. And you can see here, I've got no decent coaches left. So I've got to simulate more games, basically, to get better coaches. It's a cool change. You're going to head over to squad. You are going to go over to where it says team management. Press A or X. And then you're just going to go ahead and press RB or R1. Change any formation you want. It doesn't matter which formation you go for. So we're just going to change to a 4-5-1. Press A or X to select changes. And then we can press RB and R1. And we can just change their role slightly to box to box. Once we've done that, we can then press B. And it's going to come up with, do you want to save? Press yes. And that's going to tick off those objectives there for you. Now, having a look at what other objectives are available that I've just forgotten about. Which was a training plan. I just want to have a look. So training plans in the same place as your preset and your team management. Training plan is going to be underneath training plan here, as you can see. And you're going to select any one of these and just put a certain value to each one of these. Put a one. It doesn't matter which one it is for all of them. Confirm values. Press yes. And then you can press RB or R1. And then select any player you want here and go for ahead and put him on energy focus. And it comes up. Setting up a manual training plan will override any automatic ones. Press yes. Press B. And then back out. And then that's exactly how you're going to get it done. Save and quit on any profile you want. And that's how you're going to complete all of those. Now, Ultimate Team's in its own thing, but we have got ourselves a seasonal one that some people don't seem to know about. So I'll go ahead and show you what that is. So with the seasonal one, which is this one underneath the FC Seasons, this can be in any game mode. It doesn't have to be in Ultimate Team. You just get this done naturally. So I played two games of career, and we managed to score these goals in those games. A really fast way to get XP there. But as always, if you do have any questions or don't understand something, please let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll catch you in the next video.